Hey y'all. Hola. Welcome to 30 Minutes Down South. She's Allison. And he's Carlos. And we are two top producing realtors. With two extremely different Southern upbringings. Join us each week as we explore the Lake Murray area with our special guest. Welcome, Allison. Episode number 36. 36, yes. Yeah? So we have a very uh, interesting episode today because it's a subject that I have zero knowledge of. Well, I wouldn't say zero, but 0 0.5. You have a tiny bit of knowledge and zero experience. Definitely, definitely no, definitely zero experience. And not because I have anything against that, uh, just because I do not like needles. <laughs> So today we're going to have Lindsay Miller. Um, she is a nurse practitioner mm -hmm. who is with a company that is really cool. They are actually a concierge service mm -hmm. for aesthetics. So, so when you say concierge, that means that they'll come to your house to do any type of to do. She'll tell us more, but aesthetics procedures they provide, for example, um, Botox and fillers and skincare and. All that good stuff that ladies my age are obsessed with because we're trying to stop the time hands from spinning rapidly. You mean the 25-year-olds? <sighs> yeah. Hadn't seen that number in a while. <laughs> so she'll be like one of those um, nurses that come, you know, it, how do they call it? The Botox parties? Botox parties, yes. So they have a bunch of people getting ready to get that, and then she comes in with her needles, and everybody's super excited, yeah. like yeah. Everybody's really excited until she she shoots them up with the with the Botox and have, freezes have you their done face. That? You, you've done Botox, right? Does yes. it hurt? Um, I'm not a fan of needles, mm -hmm. and I I think it hurts. <laughs> I mean, some people are like, oh, I can't feel it. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, they're sticky needles in your face. Yeah. How many needles do um, you do? I don't know. I don't count. Where, where do you do them, Madison? I, I you just do in close your my eyes and pray that it's over quickly. Pray that it's <laughs> over quickly. I'm pretty sure God is just like, oh yeah, she's praying yes, for this. Yes, <laughs> he really cares about that. Let me let me let me drop everything that I'm doing here with all the wars yeah. and all the problems, and no. then just I get it right here. Focus on your uh, so buttocks. I'm not like <laughs> frowning so much at you. I, um, well, so you have it here in the in the mm -hmm. in between your eyes. Yes, that doesn't look weird at all. And then I get some across here. Mm -hmm. Now that that now that I'm paying attention, you're like, yeah, you don't have the wrinkles that <laughs> normal people do. And then I get a little here and a uh -huh. little here for my okay. crazy feet. So that basically, that basically is for you. You know, when you go on and, and, and make the decision to do that. Oh, absolutely. It's for me. And David was against it. He yeah. was like, you don't need it. You know, I wouldn't spend money on that. Yeah. But it's it's totally for me. It's it's a it's a very vain thing for sure. Well, you know, I, I, I understand the part that it's not, I wouldn't say vain as vain, but if you feel good about yourself, you project that good feeling towards the people. Well, I mean, I look at it like if you're you're spending money on a gym to go work out or Correct. you're spending more money on good nutrition to keep a you know more fit body you're not doing that for other people you're mm. doing it because it feels better for you and you know you have more self-confidence and you feel good about yourself so I mean I, I look at it like that yeah and I feel like most people will not notice unless you overdo it absolutely the first time I had it done um it, one of our old admins, I came in after about a week and she goes, <laughs> uh, did you get your face done? And I was like, yeah, how'd you know? She goes, cause you look really surprised. <laughs> cause my eyebrows were like up here. So we had to, had to tweak a few things. I think it'd be great if you can do a bunch of that stuff and just go to one of those poker tournaments. So you have oh, yeah. no movements on your face and they can't tell, you know, if you're you bluffing. You could totally do that. Yeah. How about this? You should try it out. Ah, Lisa, I don't know. You know, the, my biggest thing is the needles, though. Well, let's see what Lindsay has to say about them. Maybe yeah. they're not that bad. Lindsay. And welcome, okay. Lindsay Miller. How are you doing today, Lindsay? Hey, I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Lindsay, thanks so much for coming on today. So this is probably a subject that I am much more interested in than Carlos. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just going to let you guys talk. I'll be sitting here yeah. just listening Might and learning. Might get some good information. Learning. Exactly. But, um, yeah, tell us, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do, um, for those who do not know you in the Chapin area. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm Lindsay Miller. I'm a nurse practitioner. I've been a nurse practitioner for almost 10 years. Um, I primarily work in family practice. Um, I decided to step into aesthetics about two years ago. So I joined on with um, the company, The Skin Click. Um, we are concierge aesthetics um, based out of Charleston. Okay. So that's um, that's very interesting. Normally you would go to brick and mortar for aesthetics. So tell us a little bit about how that works. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, so we offer um, neuromodulators like Botox, Dysport, Xamen. We also offer derma fillers and skin care. Um, so what sets us apart from other aesthetics groups is that we come to you. Um, <clears throat> I come to your house, your business, your salon, your boutique, really wherever um, to provide aesthetics treatment. Okay, so do you have to have a certain amount of people for you to come, or do you also do one-on-one consults? Yeah, I'll say the majority of my um, visits are one-on-one, you know, popping in, you know, busy mom, need a quick treatment, don't want to worry about child care, so a lot of times it's one, but um, some ladies like to get together and have a little party with it, so we'll do um, group events as well. All right, for those who don't know much about the services you provide, uh, what exactly, you named around four or five different services. Could you give us a little quick description of each one? And how about this? Uh, Give me some time because I'm going to have questions regarding each one of them. (laughs) Okay, so neuromodulators, also called neurotoxins, um, that is your Botox. Everyone's pretty familiar with Botox. It's Mm -hmm. the first neuromodulator that came to market for cosmetic use back in the 1980s. Um, Since Botox was approved, others have come along, um, and those are Dysport, uh, Jevu, um, and Xamen. The three that we use are Dysport, Xamen, and Botox. So Botox is the the name. It's like saying tomato paste, ketchup. Botox is the name for the neuromodulator. And what it does, my understanding that what that does is um, it, like puts some of those nerves to sleep <laughs> or ties them up yeah. so so your face changes. Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yes. I, 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 mean, essentially, I, I gotta say, I'm an ignorant in this subject. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, essentially, yeah. So it targets um, certain receptors that basically tighten and reduce movement of the muscles in the face, which mm-hmm. then results in decreased wrinkles and lines, giving you a very more like youthful appearance. Okay. So. One of the biggest questions I always had with Botox is uh, how do you know it's too much? You know, you'll see people and, and, and they're laughing, they're sad, they're angry. They're, <laughs> and they and all look the y- same. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a poker face. So <laughs> for you as an expert, when do you know, do you like give it a try at first and see how, because I am assuming that everybody responds different to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, so there is standard dosing per the FDA per for the areas that you're targeting. So say your 11s, the standard dosing is 20 units. So you usually want to start at 20 units, but again, everyone is different. If someone doesn't have as much deep lines, there's much movement, they may need a little bit less. So it's really patient specific on what their anatomy is, what their goals are and what they want. Some people like that frozen, (laughs) completely frozen look. Some people want a little bit more natural movement. So you can tweak the dosing based on the individual. And how do you know, because there are, as you said, multiple options now, it used to be just Botox. How do you know which one is best personally? You know, if I were to come to you, how do I know which of the three to choose? Mm -hmm. Well, they are very similar in a lot of ways, but there is some differences. So Botox and Dysport 
contain a binding protein that salmon lacks. Therefore, salmon's considered a bit more natural and leaves a little bit more natural movement. So those who prefer to be a little bit more natural with more movement, salmon would be the best for them. Those who want to be a bit more frozen and stiff, Dysport and Botox would probably be better for them. Now, research is starting to show that people are developing antibodies to that binding protein that are in these other two products, meaning that over time, um, people are becoming less reactive to it, so it's less effective and not lasting as long, So, which won't happen with the Xamin because it doesn't have that protein. So Xamin is really starting to make a name for itself in the industry. Botox is kind of being phased out. Hmm. We're actually going to stop using um, the product Botox at the Skin Click because it's kind of like grandma's Botox now. You know, there's just better options on the market. Okay. So should you switch back and forth if you prefer to have the, um, as I told Carlos earlier, when I have it, I don't get in as much trouble because I don't have as many expressions on my face constantly. <laughs> mm-hmm. So is it better to kind of switch back and forth so that you don't build up that tolerance? Mm-hmm. Yep. That would be an option to switch back and forth. Um, some of my patients like for me to use a little bit of all of them throughout depending. So like I could put Botox in your 11s and I could treat your crows with Dysport. So sometimes I'll have patients that will just mix it up. And that's used only on the face or are there all the body parts that you put the Botox on? Yep. So Botox itself is approved for other medical treatments. Um, It can be used under the arms for excessive sweating. It can be used in the bladder for urinary symptoms. There's a lot of other things that it can be used for medically. But as for aesthetics, we just really focus on the face, so. Gotcha. What are the other uh, services that you provide besides Botox? Mm-hmm. So we do um, derma fillers. So what is that? Fillers. Yep. So that's um, the product is hyaluronic acid, which adds volume to areas where volume's lost. So we can kind of rebuild um, the face, getting rid of wrinkles and lines. Is that the one that they use on the lips? Yep, yep, lip filler, yep. That gives you um, a definitely more plump lip, fuller lip appearance and hydration. We had an in-depth conversation before we got on with you (laughs) (laughs) about lip filler, um, and there were multiple people in this conversation, and um, as we were discussing who our next guest was going to be, and tell, tell me if this is true or a misconception that if you get lip filler and then you stop, your lips will become more deflated than they were prior to getting the filler. I would say that's definitely a myth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never heard that before. Um, It will just metabolize and dissolve over time. Lip filler lasts a lot longer than the neurotoxins do. It can last from 12 to 24 months. Oh, wow. Um, So, yeah sometimes even longer um, and a lot and sometimes it actually needs to be dissolved to fully get rid of it there's a product that will we can, we can inject to dissolve it to to get rid of it so botox lasts the but same yeah. botox can last 12 to 4, 24 months no we wish no botox those <laughs> yeah we wish yeah no those the, that product um, the neuromodulators last about three and a half to four months okay um, the derma fillers can last much longer than that will will last much longer than that Lindsay what's the ratio between men and women getting that uh, you know mm-hmm. calling you and say yep. I need a retouch or something because I believe there are men doing that too right oh yes definitely I mean I would say it's probably for my practice um, probably 85 percent 15 percent so 85 percent female and 15 percent male which I'm getting more and more male patients reaching mm-hmm. out What's the average age? Um, average age is, that's interesting. My youngest, um, 25, oldest, 60s. 25 and, years old. Yeah, wow. so it can be used as preventative mm-hmm. treatment as well, starting mid to late 20s. If we start treating the areas that are starting to show movement in lines, it should help to prevent deeper wrinkles from forming later in life. That makes sense, I guess. So we have the neuromodulator, the thermal fillers. What else yeah. you got? Um, I, I think I failed to mention chemical peels. We offer mm-hmm. um, a chemical peel, 
which um, helps to get rid of old skin, dead skin, and um, generate new growth, fresh, younger looking skin. So chemical peels and then just medical grade skincare. So do the chemical peels come with downtime? Yes, ours does come with downtime um, because once it kicks in, you'll start to have some flaking of the skin, some that new growth resurfacing, um, which can cause like a uh, really bad sunburn. So we really don't use these chemical peels during the spring and summer. Our peel season is fall and winter for that mm -hmm. reason. But yeah, about five to seven days of downtime. Okay. And can you apply everything together? Let's say, I, can I call you and say, Lindsay, I just want you to bring all your stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> the full arsenal. <laughs> the full thing and just like make me look younger. Absolutely, definitely. I can do a peel, Botox and filler all in the same day. What's the range on pricing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for our pricing for the neuromodulators, it ranges 11 to $14, depending on if it's individual or um, group pricing. Each company, each maker has their own um, uh, patient like reimbursement or a program to mm -hmm. get money off. So there is potential for savings. The derma fillers will start at 700 um, a syringe. And usually, so if somebody was interested in doing, say, the lip lip filler, how many syringes would that mm -hmm. take? Typically one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. usually just one. So. And, the, and the Botox, the one that are 11 and $14, how many do you need yeah, in average? Average, if you're treating just forehead, about 30 units, depending. Th but again, everyone's different. 30 what? Units. Units. Thirty uh, needles. In there? <laughs> <laughs> no, not thirty injection points. Just thirty units. So. Okay, okay, okay. Are okay. you afraid of needles, Carlos? You know Maybe what? that's why he hasn't called you. <laughs> I am. I am. That's, that's that's one thing that I don't play around with. You know, it <laughs> messes me up. Needles mess me up. I can see a cut, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you a story later. But uh, needles are definitely my Achilles heel. <laughs> All right. It's not too bad. Not too bad. They're little. They're tiny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Lindsay, what um, what skincare line do y'all market and prefer? Yep. So we have Zio um, Skin Care or Zio Skin Health with a Abaji. I'm sorry. Can you um, repeat we have that? Skin Better. It, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Abaji's Zio Skin Care. I don't know if you're familiar with Dr. Obagi. So um, I, I use he's... mainly Obagi products, but I've never heard of mm -hmm. the Zio skincare. Can you expand on that a little mm -hmm. bit? Yep. So um, he, that just includes um, like washes, exfoliators, toners, retinol creams. Okay. So it's yeah. just a different line of theirs, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's all from Dr. Obagi. Um, and then we have Skin Better. We use Epiance, um, which is more of a botanical line. Um, and then Color Science for our, a lot of our tinted SPFs. Okay. So while we're talking about skincare, I have to ask, have you heard about the new, maybe it's not new, I think it was a TikTok thing that's now going crazy. I've seen it at Ulta, Amazon. Here we the, go. The snail, mm -hmm. it's like the snail mucus that people are putting on their face. Um, I have not heard of this yet. I will have to send it to you. It's like... <laughs> It's supposed snail to be almost mucus, yeah, yes, like you know the snail trails. Well, like they bottled up that stuff and they're selling it, and people are putting it on their faces, serums, and supposedly hmm. it's great. I have not um, hopped on that that bandwagon yet. <laughs> I would yet. love for you to try that. <laughs> I'm actually going to research on that and bring a bunch of mucus and put it on your face because <laughs> we need to do that. Actually, I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> I'm going to get it, and we're going to see Addison covering snail mucus. <laughs> it was a Black Friday deal. I almost bit the bullet, but I thought, nah, and then I think Lindsay, I'll pass. And then, Lindsay, we're going to have to call you to fix the mucus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just call me. I'll, I'll help you. Yeah. Uh, talking about calling you, um, well, one question first. Do you do, like, a first time, say, a consultation and, and, and with people, look at their faces and say, Hey, you're going to need this, 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 and that. Yeah, I do offer that. Um, I, 
I can do like a FaceTime, mm -hmm. like a video call. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have patients send me kind of pictures with certain making certain expressions and kind of get an idea of what they may need. We do skincare consults as well. Awesome. And does it happen to you that, you know, now that you know all this stuff and you've seen the before and after, let's say that you get an old friend, you bump into her in the supermarket and you're like, damn, man, you need, <laughs> you need a couple of these. <laughs> It's hard not How to. You, yeah. It's very hard not to, for I mean, sure. It's hard not to. Even my own husband, like, if I can just pin him down, if I could hit a couple of his crows in his forehead, <laughs> but he will not let me. But, yeah, it's really hard not to, to Have you to ever tried? See, have you ever tried to do that while he sleeps? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, but I've thought about it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be scared sleeping next to you. <laughs> just stay away. <laughs> By the way, your husband is a great guy, Glenn Miller, um, and uh, you guys uh, are working also on the tree farm uh, and Lakewood uh, tree farm. And, you know, we had an episode not too long ago about it. And it was great. It was really cool. Thank you. Yeah, that, we, we appreciate um, y'all's time. And um, the tree farm has been a all right, we are having a little bit of an issue here. Okay, can you repeat that last one? Sorry, you just broke up. Um, yeah, I just said we appreciate your your y'all's time, and the tree farm has been a great success thus far. Awesome, Lindsay. That's how awesome. people can find you? Um, so I have an Instagram page. It's lindsay.miller.np. You can reach out to me there. Um, you can also find me on the Skin Click website. So if you just go to the skinclick.com, you can look for locations, which mm -hmm. my location would be Chapin. Um, and then you would find me interested. Okay, that is skinclick, C L I C K dot com, correct? Q U E. Q U E. C L I Q U E. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Perfect. Yep. Anything mm -hmm. else you want to ask, Allison? Anything you want to add? Yeah. I mean, is there anything else you want to share with us? Are we missing a service? Um, y'all ask great questions. I appreciate your time. Again, I think what really sets us apart is that we're concierge aesthetics, you know, basically house calls, super convenient, you know, don't worry about babysitter, time from work. Um, so, uh, definitely. Oh, and to also to add, we are based out of Charleston, but we have over 250 providers with us and we're all across the nation. So we have skin click providers in Washington state, New York, Texas, Tennessee. So it's a really interesting concept. So that's why you are in your car, right? That's your, that's your yes. office. <laughs> yes. That's why I'm in my car. Let me sit in the traffic for you. So you don't have to. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's a great selling point right there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lindsay. We appreciate your time and all the information. And I can tell I know a little bit more about uh, skincare and uh, Botox and all neuro... Fillers. F no, no, no. That's a thermal yeah. fillers. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now I know more than you. <laughs> I just go. What, what well, when you're me? ready for your treatment, Carlos, you just call me when you're ready for your treatment. I'll be happy to help. I will. I will. Just give me a couple more years, you know, to, to get a little bit used to needles. But uh, I will. Yeah, why not? Right? That's right. <laughs> well, thank you, Lindsay. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Boom. <laughs> so now you know, you know, if you want to um, maybe get a facelift or is that the right way to no, call it? No, a facelift involves uh, like scalpels and... Oh, that's way more you know, complicated. Yeah. So how, 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 how do you call it? If you want to just like a rejuvenation? Re yes. Yeah. Rejuvenation uh, session on your face? Some, something like that. If yeah, you want to just feel better about yourself. Do not yeah. use uh, mocus from <laughs> snails. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is, look it up. It's a legit thing. Alison, I'm going to make a promise. I'm going to go online. I'm going to buy you a bunch. Buy and I'm going to make you put it in front of the camera. I, I bet some of our listeners who are ladies have tried it. Maybe the you can give mucus? it a whirl since you won't put needles in your face. You could just try rubbing the snail mucus on and see I if it helps. I don't think I need it. I mm -hmm. think people like my wrinkles. <laughs> Now, that's a huge industry. It, it is a huge industry. And, um, you know, I, I think what she has going mm -hmm. is really cool. You mm -hmm. know, the fact that she's doing house calls and is only um, 
she has a niche, you mm-hmm. know, she's not trying to cover every, uh, the whole, whole scope of cosmetic as- aesthetics, I guess. Um, but just doing the few things that most women commit a, a set budget every year to. <laughs> and, um, and you know, like she said, she's really catering to the moms. She, you don't have to get childcare. You don't have to make an appointment where you have to leave your home, sit in traffic. Like she's making it super, super easy. Yeah, that that part is uh, that part is great. You know, um, one thing that I was a little bit surprised when she mentioned it uh, was the age that she will have people twenty five year old. I mean, do you have any wrinkles at all? When you're twenty five, or that's not just for wrinkles, right? No, she said about she the said lips. Preve- well, she was saying preventative too. Mm, like that's right. Before you yeah. get the wrinkles, instead of trying to fix what has already been done, keep it from happening. I'm just saying, when you're twenty five year old, I mean, that would be the last thing you should be worried about. It was right? the last like, thing I was worried opinion. about at 25. I mean, but, hey, hey, you know, hey, hey. To I, each I, his own. Exactly. I'm, I'm not here sitting, Josh. I'm just trying to understand the thought process behind a 25-year-old to getting starting that process. You but know? when I was 25, like, it, it wasn't a big thing. Okay. I mean, now I feel like it's commonplace. And um, probably when I started getting Botox. When was the first time? Uh, how did you how did you pull the trigger? About eight years ago, Molly told me I needed it. Molly Sims. Yes, <laughs> we were out at the lake one day, and she goes, "I knew it, Dave could get you for your birthday." And I said, "What?" She goes, "You need to get these fixed." <laughs> and then she put it in your head. Uh, no, I, I had then, already I had already that was uh-huh. kind of on my list, but it just helped me pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think it used to be as commonplace now as it is now where people would just go around talking about getting it. It was more of like a secret. Like you wanted people to just think you naturally, mm-hmm. you know, didn't I- have the wrinkles and the smooth skin and all that. And now it's like, I mean, everybody shares, which is great. So now your conversation with other women is like, what type of Botox do you use? Oh, absolutely. Yes, it's not. Yeah. And, and Have if you tried you filler? Use. I'm thinking about it. What, what was your experience? Uh, what eye cream are y'all using now? Because yeah. I cannot get rid of this crepey skin. Yeah. Yes, those are the conversations of mid 40 year old women. I, 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 I get it. Listen, I get it. Uh, do you, Carlos? Do you really get it? Uh, really? If you look at yourself <laughs> in the mirror and you're not happy with it, you know, and then there is a way that you can improve the way you feel about yourself. Because yeah. like I said, you know, like you probably, I probably would have noticed you if you did or not, you know. I have not. I'm a I'm, I'm simple guy, you know. I expect you did with your age that you're going to have a wrinkle. <laughs> that's, it. that's the expectation. Hey. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the way it is, Allison. Um, but I get the part that, especially when somebody puts it in your head and say, oh, look at that. Hey, you know, did you notice that uh, you have a big, very big back wrinkle? And then you start looking at yourself in the mirror and say, wait a second. Yes, I didn't notice that. And then the next day it's like, it's there. Then the next day it's like, still there. Yeah, and then not week going goes away. by. <laughs> yeah. It's like, now I think it's deeper. Now I think it's bigger. Now yeah. I think I got two more. And then I can understand that part. And, you know, the really interesting thing about when you get any of the neurotoxins like mm-hmm. Botox is um, it usually takes about two weeks for full effect. So you wake up every morning, you're like, still there, still there. I can still move my eyebrows. It has not kicked in yet. <laughs> so we got uh, we got probably like less than a minute left. But I, I want to I want you to walk me through that first time that you say, OK, you know what? Let's do it. Let me how many needles they put in there. I, I don't know. Like. I mean, I usually get around the 30 units, like mm-hmm. she was saying, but it's not one unit per needle. Okay. So, I don't know, maybe, but, I mean, there are multiple pokes, so they just, they take a pencil, and they mark on your face where they're going to poke. And then they start poking yes. on the pencil marks. Yes. And and I get sweaty. And you see and, and you see the needle coming through <laughs> oh your. Oh no, I don't eye. see it. I just close my you eyes. Close your <laughs> I told you I can't watch that. Let me tell you, when I got my very first tattoo, I was like probably 18, 17, something like that in Venezuela, and the guy had just draw a little bit of a line in there, and I started to pass out. <laughs> I kid you not. And I was in a place that you're not supposed to be passing out. You know what I mean? And <laughs> that was a little bit embarrassing. So that so. ruined you. That's how 
that's how I am with needles. You know. So that, did you have the fear before that, or did that I make it that, worse? I think that that moment was like because I did had an incident when you know I felt like uh, my legs were shaking and 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 I was starting to weed. sweat on my hands. You know, mm -hmm. when they're starting to pull blood out of my hand, out of my uh, yeah, arm. Yeah, drawing blood. Yeah, correct. And I was like, well, maybe this is a, uh, maybe this is just one episode. You know, maybe this is you know I didn't eat well or whatever. But then when you get the tattoo and you see the needle and you start feeling lightheaded, you know, <laughs> and like and you like, hear the oh. guy, and you just imagine the needle going through your skin. You know, that lightheaded was just when like, and yeah, I think I pass out in that table, which wasn't a good experience. So did you ever get the tattoo finished? I did. Yeah, I suck it up. <laughs> I did, and I got more than one. But <laughs> Well, I think Lindsay has a very calming demeanor, mm -hmm. and if you ever decide to try a little yeah. um, cosmetic, aesthetic oh, work, there was she another would be a incident. great one to call. I'm sorry. There was another incident, too. When Elise was pregnant, and they had to put the epidural on oh, her, back. her back, the nurse told me to hold her because... Did you pass out on her? Yeah. Carlos, I, remind me to never take you with me in an emergency situation. I gave away my pregnant wife to the nurse and say, here you go. I can't do this. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> now, in my defense, I was able to see a firsthand the whole C-section. So I had no problem with cuts. I had no problem with knife. I have no problem with blood or anything going like that. Just a needle. Just a needle. <laughs> anyway, that's a lot of information. Now you know me. Now you know how to now get out. Now we know. Me. Anyway. Uh, um, that's it. That's it. 30 minutes on the nose. See you next week. Bye.